So the state of addressability is much improved over the course of the last several years. I, I think the uh, years ago we didn't have um, the infrastructure in place that needed to be in place with the distributors to be able to support it. And then obviously the, uh, you know, kind of the explosion of IP, t IP standards and IPTV standards has provided another avenue in, a, in, in terms of distribution that allows for addressability to become a reality. So as you look at things like the SCUDI 35 specs and the SCUDI 224 specs in the cable space that allow us and provide infrastructure capabilities to support addressability and you watch them being deployed by Comcast, Charter and Cox, um, we, we're, now, we're now at a space where we actually can hit target audiences in a, in a fashion that we couldn't years ago. So we had a lot of notions and some, some early missteps, but the, the infrastructure is now in place. And the other thing we're seeing is, you know, they've, they've, there's been a lot of, uh, I wouldn't call them trials, there have been actually some commercial successes recently where they've, uh, uh, folks like the cable operators as well as the satellite companies, Direct and uh, DISH, have had some success with addressability um, utilizing um, their inventory. And given that success, the, you now have the national programmers looking at it saying, you know, we, wanna, we, we wanna be a part of that equation. So Joel, just tell us a little bit more about what Canoe does in, in this ecosystem. What, what role do you guys play? So our role, uh, so our role's changed and it's evolved over time, but our role really pivoted when we first started getting involved with uh, VOD DAI, so traditional kind of uh, monetization in the VOD space. And then it's, it's further evolving now as we're uh, uh, pivoting into addressability. We're leveraging all of the experience that we've built up in VOD DAI around uh, what we call our service assurance model that leverages our tech enablement. Uh, uh, kind of, it's, it's not really a software stack, it's a, it's a bunch of processes and workflows. And then we do provide software in places where we're required, mostly to help monitor and triage. And so our, our focus is taking kind of these disparate systems that might exist. And so you can, look at, you can look at the charter ecosystem by way of example and compare it to the Comcast ecosystem. And they're, they're different, they're, they're, there are differences in there. There, those differences can be meaningful at times. And so one of the things that Canoe does is we basically step in so that the folks like, we'll pick AMC as an example. AMC, as they start to move out and addressability, doesn't have to worry about the nuanced differences. And they, they're able to use, leverage Canoe's uh, tech enablement, workflows, processes, and, and you know, monitoring software and triaging capabilities to provide us, and for us that turns translate into service assurance, that, that gives us the ability to provide kind of a, a one-way point for them. They don't have to worry about, you know, our ad assets missing or entertainment assets missing, you know, is anything else they're missing? Because Canoe's monitoring this and helping to get this stuff fixed real time 24-7. Uh,